Hello people, I'm just testing out recording last day enough. So for those that don't know, this is a mobile survival game that has, I was about to say recently come out. It came out in I believe June last year and I've been, I think I've been playing it since about September and I just discovered that I can actually successfully use an emulator to get the game onto my computer. It's taken me probably about an hour of messing around with it, trying to sync up the accounts, but now I can move between my PC and... Okay, that is a little bit loud, I'm going to turn that down a tad. So now I can move smoothly between my computer and my phone to play the game. So as I was saying, yeah, it's a survival game. It's got, it's a zombie one of course. You spawn in in this tile, let's have a look. So it's a large area, this is the base I've spent a good six months building. So yeah, you spawn in on this tile and you, yeah, you have to chop down trees, kill zombies, etc, etc. And the last couple of updates have added in raiding to the game. So you can talk to these guys, the raiders, and they give you some quests to do. In return, they'll let you go and raid someone's base. I've also got myself a chopper. Oh, and this is just a broken truck that when you first log in has some stuff in it, but yeah, I'm just using it for storage now. And I've got a box here that I just leave stuff in there so that when people come and raid my base, they just loot what's in there and leave. Right. This thing here is called a gunsmith bench. You use it for breaking down almost broken guns. And it gives you gun parts. And let's have a quick look. This is the crafting menu. Everything you can make. But it's really difficult to scroll through. There we go. So you can't actually craft guns at the moment because what is it? Titan bars and ash planks aren't in the game, but I'm guessing that's going to be added in pretty soon. So I think the last craftable item is the military backpack. But as far as I'm aware, in the next update, we're going to be able to craft the turret. And I'm hoping the electronic circuit, because the electronic circuit is used in the acid bath, which is this item here. That's what you need to make it. So that's aluminium, steel, wires, etc. Engine parts. So, yeah, the acid bath is used for clearing off infections from infected boxes, which are just random boxes that you can find dotted around the map. Right, so what I'm doing at the moment, I've got a task for the raiders to go and kill, not go and kill, go and um, loot red chest zone boxes, so boxes in dangerous zones, which I've actually gotten pretty good at doing. Uh, let's see if I can... So yeah, my base is a bit laggy at the moment because the last update, which is the Chinese New Year, which is giving these walls the weird decoration, has just, yeah, it's majorly lagged out my base, so I thought playing on PC might help. Right, uh, store that in there. No, I'm just going to chuck everything away into there. I'll equip the machete, leave the katana in there. And I want to get a gun as well. I'm not taking the military backpack because it takes steel to make which is expensive and let's take a let's take a full glock grip that and i have 12 bandages that should be enough <laughs> Jeez. so yeah i've honeycombed my base because well it's pretty obvious for anyone that's played a survival game before if you honeycomb your base then people have to break walls to get to your good stuff and how the raiding works in this is you go to a base and you have a noise meter and the noise meter gradually ticks up whilst you're there um, when you break walls and open chests. So if they have to break a load of walls, then the noise meter's going to increase. And when it gets to max, massive zombie spawns in that you can't kill. And you have to run away and leave the base. Right, so what I'm headed to is the... Uh, I think it's limestone crevices or something like that? What's it called? Uh, limestone spires. There we go. Right. So yeah, it's currently in version 1.7.7. The next update should be out sooner, should hope. Right, so they're called Toxic Spitters. That there is a fast biter, a wolf. So what I'm doing is just kiting all of the zombies around, making them follow each other. And if you see that, the spitters actually damage the other zombies. So by doing that, I save ammo and guns. But this is the first time doing it on PC, so I've expected it to go badly. Yep, oh, this is going to take a little while to get used to. So each of these 
red zones will have, I think it's up to five chests, minimum of four from what I can tell. So I'd have to do this about seven or eight times roughly. Uh, I keep getting caught in this bit. Right, there should be some more down here, yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That is a loot box there. There we go. They're doing a lot of damage to each other now. See, now it's just down to these ones. There's probably some more zombies dotted around the area as well. What are we finding? Nothing up there. Come on, spit at each other. Right, it's starting to run out of damages. I've used four already. But you get cloth from the zombies that die. And with that, you can make bandages. There we go. Come on. Spit. There we go. Ooh, that, that should take out a nice chunk of them. Go on, kill them. Right, I'm going to use the of their bodies once they're dead. Right. Oh, let's just give me rope. Come on, I need cloth. So, for every five cloth, I can make one bandage. The um, key card that you saw there, that is used to open the bunker. And the bunker is... Well, yeah, it's an old military bunker, and you can get cloth there. Um, you can get cloth there? Why did I say that? You can get uh, tickets to open military crates, etc., which give you good loot, like guns and everything. Right, so let's make a few bandages. I can get one. Okay, here we go. That is the yellow ticket I was talking about. And some beans. Perfect. Right, just want to keep stacking these. Did I not bring any spare armor with me? No. Have I got any in the inbox? Well, have I got a basic backpack in my inbox? What? Uh, okay, I haven't got any armor in the inbox. That's a bit annoying. Just hope I get some from the chests. Ah. So I'm going to keep clicking the wrong controls because it's going to take me a while to get used to everything. So at the moment, there are quite a few completely useless items in the game like the cigarettes. Well, they're not completely useless. They are used with the dealer. Uh, single lamp file, I'll take that. I'll take them. And I'll take the kumquat. So at the moment, with the Chinese New Year event, there's a few items that you can trade with the Chinese guy to give you items that give your player different buffs. So you can get a um, one that just gives you a load of XP. One that... Uh, what, oh, get a bit thirsty. There's one that increases your resource gather rates, which is the only one I've been using, and one that increases your chances of doing critical hits with guns. Which I might actually end up using if I go to clear out the bunker, but I need the dealer to pop up before I can actually... Oh, there we go. Got a um, M16. No! 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 So that there is an AI with a gun. Come on, I'm not used to this. Uh, he's got SWAT armor, I'm not going to be able to beat him with this. You know what? If I can heal up, equip the N16, and then run back in, I'll be able to kill him easily. But did I get it? Yes, I did. There we go, equip that. Heal myself up. Uh, throw them away, don't eat that. And I'm not going to eat that bit of raw meat as well. Have I really got not, not got any armor in the end box? Uh, load of iron ore. Yeah, no armor at all. Damn. Oops, where was I? Uh, not sure how I managed to do that. Right, we could take him out now. I got the M16. Oh, I should have just put it on auto. Right. Actually, I don't know if he'll still even be spawned in. I think it might have despawned him, and that's annoying because he had a full set of SWAT armor. 
Right, so it was down here somewhere. That was the crate I was opening when he turned up. I'm going to take that, and I'll take that as well. And Gabe Kumquat. Hmm. Okay, so I think he's despawned. That's good. Okay, right, top tip for everyone. If you, when you're playing this, if an AI spawns and you don't have the stuff to fight him, just run from the area. If you leave it and load back in, nine times out of ten, he will despawn. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just scout the rest of the area, try and find the last. I think there's two chests left. And pick up a load of these, because they give you the most points, if I remember correctly. I think that's probably all of it for this area. And I might have just ran out of energy and be completely unable to run all the way back to base. So I think it's 16 from here, and I'm at 10. Let's have a look. Uh, onto base takes 17. Can I make it to there? I can get to the silent abode, but I'm not sure if any point in me actually going there. Oh, there's the firework field event at the moment. I should probably go to that. You know what? Let's run over to the sun abode. You can have a look at the Chinese New Year update. If you'll actually get me there. There we go. So this is the second half of the Chinese update. The first half, you were given random quests by this old guy's daughter. And she would, yeah, one of the quests was have a fight with her. Basically, not with her, like, you didn't fight her. You had a competition to see who could kill the most zombies. Oh, and here is a dog. And in the next update, I think it's the next update at least, we are going to be getting dogs. And, yeah, as I said earlier, the turret. So, from what we know about dogs at the moment, they um, can't be killed. Neither can the Lonely Elder. It just won't let you target him. So... These eyes have seen too many winters. Need more work? Come tomorrow at the same time. So what you do is you have a chat with him. He gives you three quests. What he wants you to do is fill this table with fish. So you bring six fish to here. You hang the lanterns on here. You hang six lanterns. And then you light some fires around the place. And this box unlocks. And you can take some loot out of it. Unfortunately, you can't take the actual box. Because that would be good. Because it's just got so many storage slots in it. And then it chases off a... The fires chase off a big angry zombie out here. Right, there we go. So that is the Chinese event in 30 seconds or less. It's probably more than that. Right, I am going to head over to my... What is that up there? Oh, that's the airdrop. I've already been there. Is anything interesting on? Bunker closes in eight and a half hours. See, I've already done the bunker and switched it over to hard mode. So um, there's the normal bunker and then there is hard mode bunker. In the hard mode, well, it's a lot harder... All the zombies take less damage and you need to use a crap ton of guns to clear it. Right, I am going to gradually walk back to my base. And I will see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back and I should probably turn the audio back on quickly. Right, so we're over here again, back in the oak forest. I've gathered up all the hatchets and everything that I'm going to need. I've got the dump as well. Let me turn that down a bit. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to want to do is hit each tree seven times. Three, four, five, six, seven. So what I'm going to yeah, do is hit each tree seven times and then eat the dumpling. Ah, damn it, didn't avoid it. Eat the dumpling and then go around and hit every tree one time because it takes a tree eight hits to break. Well, it takes the oak trees eight hits to break. Should be able to gather up a lot more of them. There we go. I now smell, so let's make it a bit faster. That's painful. See, before what I used to do is just come here and gun down all the zombies, but I was getting through my guns so quickly. 
now I just get through all my bandages. Oops. Uh, I need to put trousers on. I think they're in my inventory. Uh, I could just step out of the area. You know what? I'm not taking any much damage. Ow, 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 ow. That was stupid. Okay, so yeah, what I'm going to do is just kite them all around. Ooh, my shoe's broke. I might actually have to step out of the area then. Because, okay, so the better tier shoes you've got, the faster you run. And since my shoe's broke, I can't outrun them. Uh, so I'll just mean I'm going to get hit a lot more. Everything's getting a bit shredded though. Yeah, I'm taking a bit too much damage. Alright, so I'll step out of the zone. Hopefully they all start running towards me when I come back in. Should make it a bit easier. But I think I've got... Ooh, I think I've got the helmet in my inventory. Yeah, so the shoes are in the chopper, but that's fine. I'll spawn in next to the chopper. I'm going to need to double click on it and then equip it. There we go. Yeah, just did it in time. Whee. So they all go back to their original place when you leave an area. So if I leave once they're all dead, their bodies will get just ported back to where they first spawned in. Come on, get splitting. Well, how my shoes almost broken already? I uh, really took their swap shoes for this. I might have to just... There we go. Uh. Come on, why aren't they... Let's see if I can bait. There we go. That was good. 30 damage to all of them. Another 30. Ouch. Come on, do your... A lot of them almost dead. Uh, die, you. There we go. And that should be all of them dead. Perfect. Right, now I've just got to go around, gather up some cloth from the wall. So I can make a few bandages. Uh, I've got ten bandages left. You know, let's just make up one of them. Let's use that. And get back to chopping the trees. Okay, and I'm back. So I have gotten 88 of the um, oak planks, three oak, um, 88 of the oak wood. Three oak wood makes one oak plank, and it's 10 per wool. So I've got almost enough there for three level three wools. So let's uh, see. Why would it want me to do that? I need one more energy to get there. You know what? Let's just drive it. Got the chopper with me. Might as well. So. Have I got... Okay, haven't got the free crate yet. See, they're trying... This... Ugh, three pound, and in the chest you get five engine parts, ten rubber bits, and ten wire. For one thing, 
they stack to 20, so why wouldn't it just do 5 edge parts, 20 rubber, 20 wire? That's a massive ripoff. But some of the chests they've had for sale here are ridiculous. I can't see anyone having bought a single one of them. Like they had, I think it was five pound for a couple of med kits and a shotgun. Right then, let's. Uh, there we go. And I've already got seven of them. Right then, I should. Perfect. I'm gonna have enough to make another level three wall, I believe. Yeah, I'll easily have enough. Might have enough for two actually. Once you've got there, 12, and I already had 6 in there. Ah, it's not quite enough. I had 7 there. I am one short. Right, let's just stash it all this way. Okay, so you can only actually have two woodworking benches, which is unfortunate. Right, let's take these. And where do I want to upgrade? So I've started building a separate area here. That's gradually getting upgraded. I've got... Ah, oh, see, I've got a twig wall there. That needs to get upgraded. And then, see, because at the moment, if you break that one twig wall, you'll get into this entire section here. Well, you'd have to break that as well, and that's a level two. Hmm. Uh, I feel like I want to upgrade that one. Is that a good choice? I think that is. Uh... Yeah, that should be good. Oh yeah, textures are kind of bugged out at the moment, as you can see there. Right, yeah, let's upgrade that one. Perfect. Oh, and I've actually got some steel cooking up. So I might, if I'm lucky, be able to make some more steel. What have we got in here? Already two steel bars. Okay, out of charcoal in there. The, um... Steel walls are incredibly expensive to make, but you do get them. They are. Ah, they cannot be broken at the moment either, though. So they're basically. They, yeah, they're worth it. Right. See, so yeah, it takes 25 steel plates. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah, I need a charcoal. Is that in here? No. Nope. This one? Yeah. Alright. Let's take the charcoal. Chuck it in there. Right. Oh, yeah, so it literally just managed to make that other one. I need to stop putting more than what's needed in there. Right. I can't wait until this is done. You need to build a radio tower to hire workers for the workstation, which increases the performance by 25%. But if you take a look at the radio tower, it requires Titan bars, which aren't in the game yet. Which is annoying. Same as, yeah, as I was saying earlier, the guns. Torture device, that takes titan. Yeah, it's just things like that. Explosive material can't be made yet. None of the guns. The assault armor, tactical. I just want the tactical backpack so I can have these two bottom lines completely full. Well, the military backpack unlocks that line. And then the tactical will give you the last line. Right. I think I'm going to cut the first episode here. So if you do enjoy Last Day on Earth, let me know. Ooh. I forgot I could do this. Uh, goodbye.